What is going on guys, A21 Mayo here, and today I'm bringing you episode number two of the brand new VOD review series. So today we are going to be taking a look at Raider Darth's VOD. This is a game on Chalet, um, and yeah, before I jump into the VOD, I just want to let you know there are links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord down below, and if you want to submit me your VOD, there is a Google Docs form down below. Click that link, follow the rules and the, and the requirements, and you will see your VOD being reviewed on this channel in no time. So, without any further ado, let's move on to the VOD. So, we're starting off with the prep phase here. Um, sounds like I have a shell on my ear. I think I can hear the ocean. Doesn't have that great of a mic. Okay, Thatcher ban on Chalet. Not that uncommon. He wants to ban Montaigne. Um, I'm assuming this is on con- Yeah, so it's on console. He wants to ban Monty. I would prefer to ban Maverick. Honestly. Monty's annoying. Um, but this is... Considered an attacker- Attacker-sided map. So, yeah. So, since Thatcher's banned, you guys want to ban the Cade, which is really smart. Um, Mira is extremely strong in the basement, but it's not necessary to ban her. Um, the only Mira that can't be shot is from... Is the one in Small Wine. The other one, the default spot on the single wall looking Small Garage, can be shot from above. Hmm. So, Mira and Echo are up on the board, which are two really strong uh, operators on this map. Only really strong... I, sorry, Mirror's only really strong on on uh, basement, but Echo, I mean, he can be strong in anyone's hands if you know how to play him properly. Okay, so let's see the way. I'm assuming this is solo queue. So you wanted to pick Ash. You picked a the thermite though, which is good. Now I'm gonna assume this is solo queue. So what I usually do when I solo queue is um. I wait for the four other random players in on my team to pick an operator, and then I formulate my pick around that, um, ab around those uh, picks that they they chose. So if I were to see a thermite and a Thatcher, that tells me that they know how to play that role. They know, um, what they're doing and they're comfortable on it. So I won't I won't take that away from them. And if uh, there's already a Zofia and an IQ, then I'll take probably like a buck or something for soft uh, destruction. Something like that, you know? So I always try to like form my my operator pick around my teams. And you're picking up Diffuser, which is really good. You are you know how to play Thermite so far. Um, I, I would have to see your utility placement and your playstyle first uh, to really give you the uh, 821 Mayo stamp of approval. Use your drone to locate a bomb. Okay, so you picked your spawn on cliffside. Or no, no, sorry, cliffside. I don't know that spawn over there where he spawned at. I forget the name of it. By the uh, helipad, that's where he picked a spawn. So he knows they're not basement. So he, I would be assuming that they're going to go kitchen, which they are. So you're driving your drone into sight. You know there's a drone hole there, so you got your drone out, which is good on you. And you're changing your spawn, so you definitely know what you're doing. You're formulating your attacking strategy around what you're seeing, which is good. So Valk is really strong on this map. And they also have the Echo, so nobody's bringing IQ on your team. You're running out, you're not really pre-aiming. I'm trying to find your drone. Don't worry, bro. I, I have trouble trouble finding my drone too. Okay. No it happens to everyone. Your diffuser has diffuser. Putting your claymore down. That's good. You, you're definitely having. You, you're putting steps in your routine. You know what you're doing. You're getting your drone, so you have two. You're putting your claymore down. I would have definitely tried to grab the diffuser back though. Um, you're face checking this, which I would drone at first, honestly. But you know it's ranked. Doesn't doesn't really matter. You're droning your, your corners, you're droning thoroughly, which is good. You definitely, I guess you could say you watch my video. So you drone master, you open and establish the map control. You know there's a Jaeger near top west main. Okay, so now, 
Not a lot of people pay attention to stuff like this. Look at the operator lineup here, right? There's a Valk, Frost, Bandit, and Legion. You can assume not only because you see these four operators that they're going to have a Jaeger, but also you heard Jaeger's gun. If I take it back here a few seconds, listen. So right there. Not only do you have the sound cue of Jaeger's gun, but you also have the icon in the kill feed. So that tells you right there, when I play this, that your Maverick immediately gets the refrag on the Jaeger up here, right? So that tells you that the Jaeger top west main or library hallway there is dead. So, you know Jaeger's dead. At least I would know. You're opening the hatch. You're face checking. I'm, I'm just going to go under the assumption that you know Jaeger's dead. Because so far, you seem like the type of player that would think how I just thought. So there's a bandit rotating upstairs. You're still face checking. I wouldn't take... So there's two people upstairs. So you kill the lesion. You're just winning your gunfights at this point. I mean, you did open the hatch, so you're not really needed anymore, but I wouldn't um, do that. So, you know the bandit just rotated downstairs. Oh, wow. That's a that's an interesting pause moment. To be continued. Um, so, you know the bandit... Sorry. You know the bandit rotated downstairs based off the sound propagation through the hatch that you heard his gun, right? So, you know he rotated downstairs, so you killed... Your teammate killed the Jaeger, you killed the Legion, and then you saw the Bandit upstairs as well. So you know, most likely, you can assume that 90-95% you're sure that there's going to be no more roamers upstairs. So you hit by the Frost, she wasn't expecting it. Only problem here is, you guys don't have Diffuser. Valk's shooting you, she's in dining, or, uh, sorry, kitchen. And you guys win the round. That's good. You played this round fairly well. There were, you were playing a little too aggressive in my opinion. Um, especially without the support that you should have had. Um, but you played it overall fairly well. I can definitely give props to you. Personally, I have never played on console, so I don't know the experience. I might have played casual a few times on a controller, but... Mm, maybe only like, uh... I don't know, like three or four times I've played on controller. So you're picking Thermite again. You didn't pick up Diffuser this time. Hopefully you random get it. Nope, you don't. So you didn't pick up Diffuser. I'm not sure if you're AFK or something like that. Gotta drink out a water jug, man. It's hard in these corona times. You never uh never buy bottled water anymore. We need to locate a bomb. Gotta drink the old tap. Okay, so you spawn in the same spot. So you definitely have a routine, at least for this map. You definitely have a routine, you know what you're doing. Okay, so you know they have a vigil base off the pings. You get your drone out of there immediately because you don't necessarily know where he is. He's most likely upstairs because it's a vigil, he can rotate up there. Um, with, with enough time. You heard the impact on Big Garage. So you know Vigil's running out. I love that run out, by the way. I always do that run out. So you have your drone there. I wouldn't... I would drone that first, because... You never know. With R6 timing, it's always possible that you could just get one tap through that doorway. Your teammate goes in immediately with the fuser, tries to kill Vigil. And now you have to... Retrieve it. You know he's downstairs. You know someone's on hatch now, too. It's either smoke or muted smoke. So you know Smoke's there and you know Vigil's in Big Garage. You saw someone bottom west main, that's a Rook. Or was that a Jaeger? I can't remember. So that's a Smoke, you got the Diffuser, you didn't... This is, that, that is extremely smart what you just did. You did not fight anyone. You knew what you had to do. You grabbed the Diffuser. Now it's a 4v4 with Diffuser. Instead of the Nomad dying with the Vigil in Big Garage being a 4v5 with the Defenders having somewhat of the Diffuser control. 
So you instantly ran in once the Ash, or I think it was a Zofia, killed the smoke on Trophy Hatch. You got the Diffuser, got in Repel immediately. That is what you should do. That is a perfect play almost right there. Mm, there's Mute. Whiffing a little bit. That happens to everyone even on PC. You know he's behind the bed. You know he's... He, he, you should definitely know this guy's behind the bed. Based off the distance between you and him, you can assume that he's going to be behind the bed. So peeking wide right here isn't smart. He tries to throw a Nitro at you. Nitro lands short. He blows up the Nitro. He's still going to be behind the bed. He's prone. You shoot him in the head. Okay, that's good on you. You heard a Nitro rip behind under you, I'm pretty sure. Put your claymore down, you still have the diffuser, you're face checking. So last one's Jaeger. You open the hatch, you know Jaeger's in trophy. You know Jaeger's in trophy now. It's a it's a 4v1, you know Jaeger's in trophy based off the sound of his gun. There he is. So, yeah, there you go, right there. You should be you should be planting. Now, while you're planting, you need to keep in mind um of the scoreboard right here or sorry the little bar up here so it was a 4v2 with ash zofia maverick and you or sorry 4v1 with ash zofia you don't know all that um and they just started throwing uh gave jaeger two easy picks and what i would be noticing is you have a minute and 25 left you necessarily don't need to plant in this situation because what i would do here is i would immediately get off plant I would communicate to the Maverick, hey, you're 1 HP, I'm going to refrag off of you. Maverick dies, I shoot Jaeger in the back of the head, he fucking dies, okay? We win off kills, not, not Diffuser. So if I'm planting like this, I'm going to be immediately looking up at the top of my screen, seeing how, how lit Maverick is, and I would communicate those things to him so we can uh, play off refrag, not necessarily diff the Diffuser. Your Maverick wins the gunfight, which is good on him. He was 1 HP. Um... And I'm not, I'm not necessarily saying that you trying to plant was a bad thing. I'm just saying that's what I would have done in that situation. Because if you peek properly, in a 2v1, the Jaeger can't shoot someone in front of him and behind him at the same time, right? Mm, this white noise is uh, impeccable. So you chose the same spawn again. I'm assuming the defenders are going to go downstairs this time. So I wouldn't drive my drone straight in there, yeah. So they're downstairs now. So, good on you. You didn't drive your drone straight into the building. You definitely know how to use your drone and keep your drone alive, which is good. I'm assuming you're going to try to go for the small small garage wall. Which, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming Mav tricking... If like Mav tricking is basically when you make a wall soft. I'm assuming most of you have seen a Maverick make a wall soft, so that is Mav tricking. Um, so, I don't know how hard it is on console to do that. Okay, so we're gonna just gonna skip to the defense round since he couldn't record any of that. So your lineup here consists of no Jaeger. That is interesting. I will say that much. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I definitely would have dropped the uh, lesion for a Jaeger, by far. Secure the bombs. Jaeger's really important on... Um, on a trophy defense. Honestly, on every bomb site. You could drop a Jaeger for Wolmai on specific bomb sites on maps, but Jaeger's usually, you know, like a, a comfort pick for every single bomb site. Okay, you see the drone, you try and shoot it, it goes through the drone hole. Now, I know one thing about console. I know shooting drones is extremely difficult. So. I don't, I don't blame you for that. So you got spotted there. You're still being spotted. So this right here tells me... This is what this tells me. This tells me right here where you're being spotted that there's a drone somewhere in this area. And more here to the right over there. There's a drone somewhere in that area. It could be down here somewhere as well. But I definitely know and I'm going to look for a drone there if I'm lesion in this scenario. Because I don't have any utility to put on site. So I'm definitely going to drone hunt. 
Because you go from up here all the way down to here and you're still being spotted. So there's definitely a drone in fireplace somewhere. Op 4 has located a bomb. Putting your goos down. So here's one mm, here's one thing. Um with any trap operator, be, like um with the exception of Ella and Frost, because they only have three. But with Capcan and Lesion, you should always work with your gadgets exterior to interior. Because you don't want to spend the time going from close to the bomb site to far, because that gives the attackers more time to possibly be where you're going you're, where you're going to be once you put down your last uh, Capcan charge, right? So you always want to reinforce, run away wherever you want to put your cap can, the furthest, and then slowly make your way back to the bomb site. So that way, you have a higher chance of not dying and being safer. Located a bomb. So you should you should take that lesion mine and put it somewhere, either on top west main stairs or bottom west main stairs, because if if a player sees that and they're smart, they can just walk right by it, right? They can avoid it completely. That one they can't, but in a big double door like that, they can definitely avoid that lesion mine. Okay, so you're sitting here in the corner. Oh no, you're not, you're just prepping it. That's smart. Breaking this glass, you shouldn't, you shouldn't break this glass. Now it might be different for console because there's different video settings and lighting and, and stuff like that. So it might be harder to see people through that, but that's definitely a really strong spot. Um, on, on PC at least. You're peeking this with a reflex, I wouldn't do this. You're also exposing yourself to the drone hole right there. You could be dead in a matter of like two seconds. Yeah, so you're peeking it now. You definitely know of that area and why people like to play there. You're throwing your next goo. I would put that goo underneath trophy window. You're playing sight though. You're playing lesion how he's intended to be. You're supposed to stay alive, keep your utility alive. So that way you can put more of it down. Quick cleaning. The attacker's got the hatch open. Now, is there even a rotate? So there is a rotate there. So either the... Wow. Either the Cav, Rook, Vigil... Um, put that put that rotate there. Trying to spam the wall. Now, I would open that wall even more. Honestly. Because, yeah, you have to peek wide like this in order to see the drop. You hear someone above you. You hear someone above you outside the window. You know there's someone on Master Balcony. So you're in a 1v4 now with minute 20. Someone stroke your window, you kill him. Good reflex there. You know... Okay, so now you know that that Thermite has three goos in him and he's at least 50 HP from shooting him, right? So he's somewhere near West Main because he tripped three of your goos. He tripped the first three goos you put in that area. You put one... You put the first one West Main door, double door. You put the second one hallway door from dining into west main hall and then you put the third one kitchen door into west main hall so you know that thermite is going to be somewhere in the area taking a goo out you engage on the twitch you unfortunately lose the gunfight which is okay so it went from a 1v4 to a 1v3 you killed the guy trophy window you know that two are going to be somewhere near west main you have a hibana and a thermite over there and then you're engaging the twitch so if you kill the twitch in this scenario you know that the last two are going to be somewhere in West Main. One possibly might be in the dining hallway. Mission failure. I mean, you losing... <laughs> Jesus Christ. You losing uh, that round isn't your fault at all. It's your teammates because you should never be put in a four, uh, 1v4 situation. So this time you have a Jaeger, which is good. Um, You have wall denial, which is good. Thatcher's banned. They do have the Maverick, though, so... Mm. Depending on how the attackers play this, either Bandit's really good or not at all. If I'm playing, if I'm scrimming a good team and I know they have a Maverick and they're bringing him, I wouldn't even bring Wall Denial. I would at most bring a Cade for Hatch. But um, if I know they're bringing the Maverick, I would just pick a different operator that could help more. Because Wall Denial won't do anything to slow them down. They can just uh, make the wall soft. Your teammate is reinforcing next to you. I would be highly upset. That shit gets me salty. Yeah. I feel I feel your pain. You get a drone, so you know there's nine drones left. Um, you're going to get a hatch, I'm assuming. There's a drone there. 
Yeah, don't worry about it as much. I wouldn't worry about it either. I'm going to get this hatch. Hmm. There's a positive and a negative to both the hatches here. This hatch gives deeper angles into the bomb site, and the connector hatch gives uh, more more of a map control. Bomb locations are secure. Yeah, so you know connector hatch is soft. Putting your batteries down, which is good, because you know Thatcher's banned. Now they could drive a twitch drone through that drone hole, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't have my uh, battery out. I would be holding that. That drone hole with my gun. You're waiting to bend a trick when you know they have a Maverick. I would just put my batteries down here. If I know they have a Maverick, there's no point in sitting here. I would have my gun up. So the default mirror wall is soft, and they're bringing a Cali, and there's a Twitch run I was talking about. So they got two of your batteries for free. So you got the wall. They they got the wall, actually. But you got the Twitch drone. So now you know they have eight drones. You know, Jackal is somewhere backside. You die to him, unfortunately. He's yep. He's on the laundry head glitch. Hmm, okay. Located a bomb. You know what to do. So there's a lot of different ways you could have played that. You know, they had the Cali, based off of her gadget going off. Um, and you're doing something really important here. You're getting on cams. A lot of people, even in high and diamond ranked, don't do this. You're pinging the people. You're not using your words, which would be more effective, but you're definitely giving some sort of intel. Um, so good on you for getting cams. Seriously. Not a lot of people have the inclination and the muscle memory and the habit. That's the biggest thing. People don't have a habit of getting on cams. They just die and get on their phone or something or all tab. Okay, so you're going wine again. Wow. Siri wanted to, uh, speak. Okay, so you guys are going, uh, Winding Garage again. Mm, you're trying to put an ADS here. You know they brought the Twitch. So, you're putting two ADSs here. There's really no point in doing this. You're putting barbed wire there to counter the Twitch drone, make it slower. But you know they have a Cali. So, the Cali... Mm, Cali's gonna know that the ADSs are there if she drones it. So, she can just get your two ADSs for free. Ten seconds remaining. Mm, you put your last ADS... You put your last ADS uh, blue door. You have both your pieces of your barb down. And you're trying to reinforce now when the round has started. Both the connector hatches are soft. That mirror wall is... Uh, sorry, the, the hatches are uh, reinforced. You should have got that wall behind you. That mirror wall, that default mirror wall where people always put the mirror on. You should definitely at least reinforce that if you're only going to use one. You down Habana, which is huge. You're leaving, which is smart. You know someone's trench. That's a that's a Doka B. You wide swung, which ended up coming to bite you in the ass. I would have just left. You don't need to repeat that. At most, they're gonna have. They they could have the potential to have a Maverick and a Thermite as well, but you killed the Habana, which is really big, especially on a backside take because she can open the backside wall fairly safe. Um, okay, so you guys... Oh, wow, you lost that... Oh, did you? Oh, no, it's OT, sorry. So OT means all the bomb sites are unlocked. So you guys won that round, which is good. And you guys went back downstairs. You're reinforcing next to your teammates. Mm, not something I would do. Definitely would not do. Putting both your ADSs here. Now, here you have a choice. You can either assume that they're going to go front side again, which they did, but it was a lighter front side take for the small garage. Or you can assume that they're going to go back site because you saw at least three people back site, right? You had a Jackal, Hibana, and a Dokabi. Dokabi came through trench, two came through big garage. So, what I would have done is move this ADS here, put it somewhere else in a safer spot, one. And secondly, um, somewhere where it could be more effective. And I would put two in wine. Um, because you know that they sent three people back site last round. These are things that you have to be thinking about. Even if you're solo queuing or in a scrim or in a casual. If you really like want to win the game. Um, you should be adapting. You know there's a drone in sight. It's most likely going to be on top of the bookshelf above you. Ten seconds remaining. You heard the drone, like, uh, stutter up 
above you. So you know there's a drone there. So you are putting an ADS backside, which is good. You're at least adapting a little bit. There's two sets of barb there. There's still a drone in sight, though. You're going in big garage to hopefully pressure the attackers a little bit more. Um, I wouldn't sit here necessarily because you can be droned and pinged and shot in your back from the big garage soft wall. Um, but at least you're adapting in some sense. So by now, mm, that's blue. Yeah, that's blue stairs. So Capitol came, came down blue stairs. He got instantly refragged, which is good. Now you, you can rotate back. I would have rotated back by now because... Think of how fast the attackers took map control last time, Big Garage side. They took it in the first, what, 15, 20 seconds, right? Somewhere around there. So, we're already uh, 35 seconds into the round. Or 45, sorry. Um, sorry, I cannot do fucking math. But we were further into the round, and they're still not taking this control. So, I would have left already. You, you just heard someone drop trench. That was trench. So, so you know. Yeah, you know. Sophia there. Hmm. You wide swung an LMG. Not something you should do. Sophia's LMG has the most in the game. Like, most amount of ammo. 150 bullets spraying at you at a one armor is, uh... Not something I would do. I would prone peek at the most. Especially if you're on a controller. I would take my time, definitely. If you are gonna re-peek. Um, but... I wouldn't. I wouldn't re peek, honestly. Um, you're you're definitely one thing I've noticed from your attacks as a player alone. You know how to take the map control, but not push too much. Like you're in your comfort zone of staying in in master, which I'm assuming they're the uh, defenders are gonna go trophy. So that means you're gonna pretty much do the same thing, um, which is good. I mean, they're not adapting to you, and, and what you're doing is working. You're doing your job as a hard breacher. You're opening the hatches, or the walls, or whatever. So you took your drone in small garage, or, yeah, small garage again. You notice they're not there, so... That most likely is, uh, gives you the assumption that they're gonna be... A uh, kitchen trophy, which they are. You spot the bomb, spot as many people as you can, and you... GTFO. You get out of there. Which is good. Change your spawn based on the bomb sites. Which is good, so you definitely know how to um, attack. On defense, you wide swing a little bit too much. Um, that's just my opinion. Like, you're taking fights that you d necessarily don't need to take. But on attack, you're pretty fluid. Like, there's not a lot of things, there's only very small things that I would say to do different. If you sat there and held more angles and, and listened more and actually thought about what you were going to do as a, a de as a defender, um, you would you would die less often. So you drone master, you know it's clear, you're going to shoot up in the barricade, yep. See, now the vigil, you know the vigil's in Big Garage, you heard him below you, uh, you heard his gun below you. And if you look down, yeah, see, you can see your teammate's red X there. So you drone this, you know it's clear. You're going to open the hatch, spam the wall. See the way the way you should you should play this here and the way you play thermite in general is you drone an entry in, so pretty much you drone. You get the map control. You breach the wall or hatch. You immediately get back on your drone. You shouldn't be looking for kills. You should let the the ash or the IQ or the Maverick do that here. But since you aren't communicating, you're having to do all of that in one in one uh, player. You're having to drone, kill, breach, drone, plant, all of that. Which I get. I sometimes solo queue and I, I completely get where you're coming from. But it doesn't mean you should stick away from the basics. You should at least be opening the hatch, going outside Master Balcony, and immediately getting back on drone. Because you never know. When you're down there putting down the exothermic, you could have a Jaeger or a Vigil coming up West Main or from Trophy Hallway. Or sorry, not trophy, library hallway, and can shoot you right in the back, you know? So, I would definitely get into the habit of droning after you breach a hatch or a wall. Yeah, see, I think this is like the third or fourth time you face-checked. So, you don't you don't need to throw your drone there because you know your other one's alive. I'm, I'm a... Yeah, see, there's exactly what I'm talking about. 
Now, let's say that vigil was 30 seconds sooner. You could be dead right now. I, I would be droning him. Especially since I know I have two drones here. I can afford to lose one by this point. And uh, I would... um. I would definitely try to get intel on him at least. So you know the vigil's somewhere upstairs? Maybe he's back in dining now? Yeah, he was back in dining. He rotated down. And now you know the fr Is that f No, that's not Frost Gun. That's Ashes. So you want to go for a plant here. Fro you know Frost is in dining. You go for the safe plant, which is good on you. You're trying to do your job, which is good. You're not going for the kill and getting kill hungry. So you're prepping... Wait, where are you guys going? Oh, you guys are going wine. Okay, so you're prepping your pick for for a wall denial. Again, I mean, if you're not going to bandit trick, there's no, no real reason to, honestly. You have no barbed wire. Wow. That, I'm assuming that's what you're thinking right now, too, looking at this. You have no barbed wire at all. My show should definitely have barb. And if you see a maestro, if I was the Jaeger there and I see a maestro and I have a bulletproof on, I would definitely check my my secondary gadget check and make sure bomb. I'm bringing the barb. Because you don't you don't really need a bulletproof by that point. So you're getting your same walls, which is good. Making sure that the external walls of the site are reinforced. You know that the drone just went behind you. You guys still aren't reinforcing the mural wall. The single that wall right there in front of you. I don't know why you're not reinforcing that. What I would do in that situation, if I was solo queuing and no one was getting that wall, I would wait to see if someone gets this wall for me. And then if someone gets this wall for me, I'll go behind and I'll get the mirror wall directly behind you. That's what I would do. So that way, the, um, the attackers can't get this wall. Or sorry, so that way, the attackers, when they open this wall, they can't get lines of sight behind you into the site based off that soft wall. Because right now, the attackers have a 100% success rate on getting this wall open. So e either it's the Kali or the Twitch drone that's, that's allowing them to get this wall open. So hopefully you bandit trick it this time. That would be that would be smart. Because you can bandit trick around a Kali. I would definitely be holding the drone hole. You're looking for the hatches, which is good. You don't, you don't need to look up. You don't need to look up for the hatches. All, all you need to do is look at the ground. If you look at the ground here, there's going to be debris on the ground, and that'll indicate whether or not the hatch is reinforced. So you're looking for the twitch drone, which is good. I would hold much more of a passive angle on this, because as I just said, they have a cat. What the fuck? All right. Good on you. You got the sledge. Twitch got both of your bandit batteries. One is back sight. Maybe blue. It's an IQ. Twitch got another bandit battery. You're so I would leave wall by this point, because I'm going to get shot in the back of the head by this device. IQ. Yeah, so you have an IQ entrenched somewhere. You're gonna you should be expecting a second twitch drone at some point. You're juggling the wall the best you can. You put on the left side, you're probably not gonna get this thermite charge. No, oh, he's he's faking you out. Okay. So now that's two back sight. Yeah he faked you out. So now they got wall open. You know one's blue, you know one's outside breach and you know one's back sight. Operator remaining. Where'd you die from? Wait. One friendly operator. One friendly. I don't see this guy. Hold on a second. This guy. I I cannot see this guy. So you pretty much just got Peeker's advantage. So there's no. There's literally nothing you can do about that. All friendlies have been neutralized. Ah, oh, that sucks. Could you have won the round if that didn't happen? Possibly. Um. But that definitely sucks. I would be, I would be a little bit upset. I would be uh, a salty boy for sure. So I mean, overall, you play like fairly well. Actually, no, you play very well on attack. You definitely know your job. Just drone a little bit more on attack and on defense. Definitely don't peek as much. Um. And if you can. I know you have a mic because of the white noise in the video. So plug your mic in. Make sure you're communicating. If you haven't, go watch my solo queue video. Um, one of those tips is to always repeatedly give as much information as you can. 
even if your teammates aren't talking back, um, there's going to be at least one person on your team that's going to be listening for those callouts. So just uh, drone a little bit more on attack, stop peeking as much on defense, and communicate overall, and uh, you become a much better player, definitely. Um, other than that, though, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you want to see more of my content, make sure you hit that sub button and that notification bell. If you want to submit your VODs to me, there will be a Google form down below in the description. So make sure you guys go follow those requirements. It's only three simple steps. And I will see you guys in the next video.